sales, service, and training, EMC is the resource for all your firefighter needs. How you doing? I'm Brian Gilbert with the EMC Fire, the Crimson Dealer here in the state of Arizona. And uh, what we have here today is a Samuel Transformer that was spec'd and built specifically for their needs in their department area. Uh, what we have here is we're currently in the Metro Star Spartan Cab, uh, medium four-door with the 20-inch extension in the back, which provides for uh, more room, uh, additional com space for the firefighters, and an EMS compartment in the back of the cab. Uh, this configuration is a six-man cab. Uh, as you kind of can see with the console, we're looking at a, a doghouse mounted AC, uh, a hardwired chassis. Uh, the department chose to go this way to save a little bit of money, uh, where you can see where we put a little extra into the body. Uh, this is our extreme duty cab that Spartan offers. Um, very simple uh, layout from the, from the dash, the control panels, uh, from the driver's, driver's seat you can reach uh, all the controls and then on the captain seat because of the additional space we offer on the captain side uh, the foot pedals have been moved to, to momentary contacts which is uh, on the dash panel so the captain can operate it uh, with his hands versus his feet providing more room uh, for gear and equipment as, as seen fit by the department uh, in the back of the in the back of the cab you can see uh, the additional room we have for the firefighters and firefighters gear uh, all our measurements come from the back of the doghouse where we are able to add additional pad track additional storage inside the cab still be NFPA, NFPA compliant with the mounts uh, still give the firefighters that additional room to add equipment to the back of the cab in addition we have uh, an additional EMS compartment. We have power supplied so you can uh, add any additional chargers, any additional uh, equipment to keep uh, drug boxes and medical controls cold. Uh, this would be specific to the department and what they request. Uh, not all departments are putting their equipment in the back, but if you do want that option, this is one of the options we do provide for you. Moving into the, the body of the transformer, going into the, the L1 R1, the initial body, the initial makeup of the transformer was to give you more space. The, this L1R1 offers you 130 cubic feet of more space. You have a full slide out tray in there. You can you can set it up to how it functions best for you, but it gives you that additional equipment, equipment storage, where we're starting to break the truck into a, a pumper, into a rescue pumper, two trucks into one, and gives you that versatility to run what you need to run and have all the equipment with you. Uh, what you see here is we have the single arm ladder rack, uh, with the, new, with the new design, we have a, it's an air actuated uh, billboard sign is what we'll call it. Uh, so when the ladder is stored, it looks like it is now. And when you bring the ladder down, you're able to bring that billboard down so you still have your scene lights on scene and you still have your code lights for protection. Um, moving in, this truck gives you 25 and a half inch deep compartments uh, for Crimson and in the industry with Spartan ERV, that's the deepest that you can actually receive. So 25 and a half inches, you can, you can you know, imagine how much room that will give you all the way around the body, full depth. Uh, moving to the rear, through the, through the compartments, we, we opted to do a slide out tray with pack track uh, in the L1R1 for a salmon well. Uh, give them more versatility with equipment and tools they want to run. This is going to be more of a rescue style truck for them uh, in their department. Uh, shelves in, the, in between and then in the, in the R4 compartment we decided to go vertical. Uh, vertical pack track shelves gives them again more more versatility with equipment and still being able to use half the compartment uh, for any other needs that they need at their uh, at their disposal. An additional uh, aspect they added here to the to the body is the smart storage function. Uh, we they opted to put three uh, SCBA bottles in the truck and. Storage with Crimson and Spartan ERV. This gives you uh, the aspect to get the ability to put bottles in here, SCBA bottles. You can go with wheel chocks. You can go with uh, you know on the on the ladder option. You have the ability to put the the, the jack pads in there. 
Uh, so really, with the wheel well storage, it gives you the ability to configure uh, what your need is. And again, taking those pieces out of a compartment or out from underneath the truck and actually putting it in the body in, a, in what would be an unused space now into a very usable space. The option Samuel well chose to go with the rear of the truck. Uh, we carry, we're going to carry about 800 feet of 3 inch, uh, keeping it again to the rescue style body. And what we added for them on the right side was a Stokes basket on the bottom to carry their equipment and additional equipment for those type of rescues with uh, two backboard storages on top, giving them the equipment needed in case of an emergency. Uh, with the new addition to the changing of how we were setting up our speed lays uh, in the first model, it was half and half instead of side by side. Now we went to a separate, basically, compartment of its own tied into the frame with the body. And now you have side by side speed lays where the trays come completely out. You can load the hose and you put them right back in. Completely removable. Uh, this will have a completely covered net. That way we keep the hose on the truck and, and for full usability versatility uh, that gives you that option either which side of the truck you still have it can still be set up and used used easily uh, with the cab up we, uh, crimson went ahead and put a lid on top so we can actually open it up any type of service that needs to be done can be performed with the cab in the air uh, and through here as well Hi, I'm Jason Darley with WS Darley Company here today talking about the transformer pumper from Spartan ERB. Uh, Darley and Spartan ERB worked for a long time to uh, come up with a design that allowed us to maximize storage as well as uh, water carrying capabilities for a vehicle and allow us to have a very short wheelbase for tight turning radiuses, whether it be in a city or on a mountain road. Uh, the main thing about this pump, uh, again, it's a PSP 1500 three gear pump. Uh, the, the, one of the nicest features about it is the pump is all on the left hand side of the vehicle. Uh, very compact in design, uh, which we spent a long time on, and it allows us to, if there's ever a pump problem, to get the pump out very rapidly. Uh, perhaps in as little as 10 to 15 minutes, the complete pump can be out of the apparatus and be very serviceable and easy to work on. Uh, Crimson and Spartan ERV did a great job of very unique controls, uh, hydraulic helm controls, as you see here. This, this panel can be located anywhere on the apparatus. It can be on the left side, the right side, in the rear, or even uh, in cold weather climate uh, inside uh, an enclosed cab. There's a six inch suction manifold on both sides of the pump allowing you to hook up your suction hose on both sides as well as discharges on both sides. The PSP 1500 pump is uh, fully capable of uh, pumping and rolling for, uh, for wildland operations or any other operation where it's necessary. Again, a very great package, compact and efficient. Uh, with, the, with the MetroStar here and the 18K front axle that was given or was chosen by the company, by the department to configure what is needed by Sam and Well, uh, with the 18K standard I-beam, it's, it's standard to have 50 degree turning radius left and right, uh, which obviously provides you for uh, a great turning radius in tight situations, tight cul-de-sacs, and some of those areas that are normally hard to get to, this right here is giving you the ability to get in and out of those tight areas. The initial aspect with the transformer as well up in the hose bed area. Uh, on one side we have the ladder rack, on the other side we have the coffin compartments. As you can see, depending on the hose load, you're going to go from a full depth coffin compartment to a, a partial depth or a partial width compartment. You're still looking about two and a half, three feet deep. Again, for that initial storage of the truck. Uh, as you can see up here, this hose bed is completely configured for Sam and Will and what they requested. We have a few, a few uh, cord enough compartments for the, for the request of the department. This is something that, with your request, what you guys want to see, it's something that you guys tell us and we'll be able to make it and design it and put it in place. I'm David Aronson. I'm a captain with Sam and Will Fire Department. Uh, I've pretty much spec'd out the uh, truck from the get-go. Uh, we are replacing a 1982 Pierce, it's an open cab. Um, the reason why we, we saved five years for a new fire engine 
is just uh, the open cab is unsafe for our firefighters um, in the bidding process and, and looking at different manufacturers. Uh, working with Brian Gilbert at EMC Fire, you know, it just felt right. And uh, as you can see, the truck is, is amazing. Uh, thoroughly impressed with everybody at Crimson Spark. Um, can't wait to get it home and actually use it. Yeah, I want that one. The discharge was the other side. You got one on the other side for discharge two. You got front bumper. Speed lane, speed lane, bumper. So. Yeah, I mean, there would have been a lot more I would have liked to have done to it. You know, of course. Budget, you know, our little tiny budget. I would have really. Structure. 